Next up, so 2% of Ethereum supply is now staked in Ethereum, uh, 2.0 deposits, and I'm like, wow, 2%, watch out. And uh, I don't really care about the whole article. I read the whole article, it was boring. So what it says here is data by on-chain analysis, uh, crypto quant shows that ETH 2.0 is growing more and more decentralized, currently holding 2.29 million locked up ETH, which represents 2% of the circulating supply. Watch out, that's a boatload. So here's my thoughts. Um, the more you lock up, because when you lock up Ethereum for staking, it's not like you're locking up for a day or a week. It could be years, multiple years, and that's just how it is. So that will take everything off the table, and they don't have to worry about that, about we can selling. That's good for them. So I think that is one uh, positive aspect as they move towards uh, decentralization and also towards staking, because right now it is all proof of work for Ethereum. Now, that is great to see. I have, when I read the whole technicals of how to stake, I was like, nope, not doing it. <laughs> Just, I am not doing it. First of all, I'm not going to keep my Ethereum locked up that long because I'm not missing this bull run. This bull run, if you look at the cycle, it's always every four years. If I got to lock up Ethereum for two years, well, guess when I can get it out during a huge dip? Not going to do it. So, I mean, maybe if you want to, if you want to support the, the, uh, the network, that's fine. You know, put a little bit away. But, uh, for me personally, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. And it's, it's a pain in the A. I, I, I looked at them like, no way. So if you know, uh, Cardano also, you can stake it and they have been staking 69% of its circulating supply. Let me say it again. 69% of its circulating supply is staked. Here's why. First of all, super easy to do. If you go over to danteachescrypto.com and just click on ADA staking, or if you just go right to the link, there's a link in the, in the description, it'll take you right here. If you click on uh, wallets, it'll go down here. There is a handy dandy 13 minute video and it explains exactly what staking is and how simple it is and how you can use these three wallets, boom, 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 to stake your Cardano. And I gotta tell you, it is like super duper simple. And they made it so easy that, I mean, even a caveman can do it. But seriously, I mean, it's it's uh, it's simple, it's easy. It's uh, also, you don't have anything locked up. And that is, that is a positive and a negative because one, you don't have anything locked up which is good for you, but uh, with Ethereum, as everything's locked up, that means it's off the table totally. So in that regard, positives and negatives, but however, I still think it is a positive for Cardano. And they made it, like I said, just so simple with uh, with both of the uh, wallets. And I don't know what's gonna happen with, with, with Ethereum. I mean, I think it's gonna do quite well. The problem with Ethereum is that the fees are through the roof right now, as you know, but uh, they're working on fixing that. So let's hope that actually happens. But uh, who knows, they run into uh, delays all the time. I will just say this with uh, Cardano, um, one of the big things that's hindering them is the lack of smart contract functionality. But uh, as you know, the uh, Gogan area, Gogan area, the Gogan era is, is coming about, which is going to lead to smart contracts with Cardano. And that is reported to be going to be in February of 2021. That's what it says here on this article. And it says according to the roadmap. However, when I look at the roadmap, I couldn't see specifically any dates uh, for the uh, Gogan smart contract, but uh, that's just what they say. So I, it'll be interesting to see uh, which one wins. That's why I hedge my bet. I have uh, a lot into Ethereum and I have a lot into Cardano because uh, I know one's going to be great and one's going to be awesome and I don't know which one, so I hedge my bet. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our next piece. <laughs>